Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Jump Rope Veteran. Great to have you back for another Jump Rope review. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Buddy Lee Aero Speed. I think it's one of the lesser known Buddy Lee ropes. The more famous one is the one that you see him using in most of his videos, the long handle rope. It's called the Buddy Lee Rope Master. And I reviewed that jump rope a couple months ago. It's one of my favorite ropes out there, but this one's a little bit more expensive and a little bit more different than the Buddy Lee Rope Master. So I hope that you enjoyed this review. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. But before we get into it, please hit that red subscribe button on the bottom or right hand corner of your screen. Hit that thumbs up button and share the channel with your friends or anyone else that you think might be interested in jump rope, intermittent fasting, and overall health and life optimization. All right, let's get into it. All right, what's going on, everybody? So we got the Buddy Lee Aero Speed here. And we're going to do the unboxing portion of this video. So I've heard a lot of good things about this jump rope, but I haven't used it yet. I currently own two Buddy Lee ropes. I own the Supersonic Speed Rope that he came out with with Lee Reisig. And that's a double under rope. I've done a review on that if you want to check it out. And then I also own probably his most famous rope, the Buddy Lee Rope Master. This rope is considered to be a little bit higher quality than the Rope Master. It's a little bit more expensive. So we'll see what it is as we start breaking it open. The packaging comes open pretty easily. It comes with his standard swivel bearing wrench that you use to tighten down the swivel bearings here. Yeah, right here, see it fits, fits perfectly right here. This also comes with the Rope Master as well. The Rope Master is the longer handle, the longer handle rope that you see me with in the videos, the red one. So you got two handles, you got the signature right there, you got the arrow speed, and you have the Buddy Lee insignia, or the logo. These right here, these, these handles are a lot shorter than the Rope Master. They feel pretty good. They have the same technology that the Rope Master has, that swivel bearing system. I believe Buddy Lee owns the patent to that as well. So yeah, I got some more protective stuff here. And it looks like this is a PVD cord. This is not the green Hornet cord. The green Hornet cord, I think, is a little bit more high quality and you can't, you can't size it to yourself. You have to get that custom made from Buddy Lee's website. So it's a PVD cord, not a PVC cord. I'm not a huge fan of PVD. I much rather would have PVC. I don't think the PVD performs as well. I've used it with the Rope Master before, and I'm a big fan of PVC cords, but everybody has their own way of jumping. So I prefer PVC though. Here is just your standard instructions, instruction manual. You got your breakdown of the rope. One thing I like about Buddy Lee's ropes is he puts a lot of care into the design and making it a complete rope. A lot of intention goes into it. Then he's got everything in here, how to adjust it. Looks like he, he teaches how you how to measure the rope properly, which is this diagram right here. I also have a video on this as well, if you want to check it out on the channel. And then how to screw in the rope. And then it looks like, yeah, just a bunch of advertisements and stuff in here. And then his, his biography. So pretty easy unboxing. Doesn't have too much. I don't think that, I think I'm going to have to boil this. Because with PVD, you normally have to boil it in water for like, a minute or so with his ropes so we'll see it might tell me to do that on the back 
but no, there's nothing in here saying that I need to boil the rope. Yeah, nothing in here, so pretty standard unboxing right here. The biggest hurdle with getting a Buddy Lee rope set up is doing this, is getting this right here. This can be really difficult. Well, actually, this one's coming in quite nicely. But the last one I had, I'm not sure if I got a bad rope, but the Rope Master was really difficult to get in there. So, but this is actually quite nice. It doesn't look like I have to boil it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and size it to myself. And then the next part of the video is gonna be the actual review. So yeah, pretty standard unboxing here. But I'm looking forward to using this rope. So just to recap what the rope comes with, you got your PVD cord, not a PVC, but a PVD cord. You have your two handles. These handles look really nice. Can't wait to try some new tricks out with this. And then you have your swivel bearing wrench, which you can use. It fits right in there to tighten or loosen the swivel bearing. See, you can tighten it or loosen it. See, I'm loosening it right now. Then you can tighten it back up. You can also do it with your hands. But what I like about these ropes is that these, this wrench, I mean, it does add an extra layer of complexity, but it also makes sure that your equipment is straight. Because when you have a complicated rope like this with, with pretty ornate handles with a lot of moving parts, if one of these parts gets loose, I mean, and, and it hits you in your face or it hits somebody else at the gym or something like that, that could be a real problem. So that's why I like the intention and making sure your gear is straight. You do a good preventative maintenance check on your gear, make sure it's good. Okay, everybody, we're gonna start off by talking about the rope's quality. Now, Buddy Lee is known for producing high quality jump ropes that perform very well. This rope is no different. As you can see here, it has the good spin test. I'll do the spin test here. It spins reasonably well, well enough for a good performance. The handles are really great. I mean, they're they're sturdy. I would call this kind of like the, the Cadillac handle because it's, it's very sturdy. And I would say it's pretty luxurious if you can apply luxurious to a jump rope. It has these neoprene handles on them so that you can keep your grip pretty well. And overall, the handles feel really good. The rope, it's a standard five millimeter PVD, not a PVC, but a PVD rope. I prefer, for myself in jumping, I prefer a PVC rope. PVD, I, I find that it doesn't really swing as well or as fluidly as a PVC rope. But overall, this rope is not bad. It goes pretty well with these handles. But as far as the quality goes, the handles are top notch. They are a good mix between a short handle jump rope and a long handle jump rope. So overall, I think that I'd give the Buddy Lee Aerospeed a five out of five on quality. It has the patented Buddy Lee swivel bearing system. So you have this right here that you can loosen or tighten with the wrench. And then it has the screw in where you actually screw the rope in there. So yeah, I think five out of five for quality is definitely warranted for this rope. It is a good rope. I've been using it for the past couple weeks. I don't have any complaints about the quality. So five out of five for quality for the Buddy Lee Aero Speed Jump Rope. Let's talk about ease of use. Ease of use, like most Buddy Lee ropes that at least that I've used, is where this rope kind of falls a little short. It's not as hard to use as the Rope Master, but it is a little bit difficult to put together if you're just looking to get your rope and start jumping immediately. One of my biggest complaints with Buddy Lee's ropes is <clears throat> you have to screw the rope into this little mechanism here, and that can be very difficult. There have been some times where it's taken me 30 minutes to get the rope screwed in, Fortunately, it, it only took me about 30 seconds to a minute this time, but with the Buddy Lee Rope Master, especially with a PVC cord, it takes a lot longer to get this thing screwed in the right way. So maybe that is one of the advantages of a PVD cord. I just thought about that. 
but as far as operating the rope goes it's not hard to operate at all once you get it put together it's very good very very intuitive very seamless to operate it the weight is nice the handles offer a good bit of weight so that you always know where the rope is since this is a five millimeter cord rather than a four millimeter cord it adds just that little bit of extra weight so if you're a beginner this rope is probably good for you rather than the rope master because of the extra weight in both the handles and the extra weight in the five millimeter pvd cord so for putting it together i'd say it falls a little bit short of the five out of five rating but once you get it put together it performs very well it's very easy to use so i'm going to give the buddy lee aero speed a four out of five jumps for ease of use because of the difficulty that a lot of people face and that i face putting it together but once it's put together it operates very well and it's very easy to use. So four out of five jumps for ease of use. I will tell you that ease of use is one of the most underrated review criteria of a jump rope, especially if you're just starting to work out. If you're just starting to work out, you want a jump rope where it's not going to take any extra effort to put together. You want to be able to take it out of the box and start using it right away because it, you're trying to form a habit, you're trying to get into working out. If you've been working out a lot, then maybe that's not as important to you. But ease of use is super important because you don't want any obstacles in your way when you're first starting to work out. You just wanna be able to get your equipment and start jumping. Performance. Performance is a category where the aero speed does shine. Just like the other Buddy Lee ropes that I've used, this is the third Buddy Lee rope I've used. I have the supersonic speed rope for double unders. I have the Rope Master, and now I have this one. All of them perform very, very well. Performance has never been an issue for me with any of Buddy Lee's products. This rope is no different. What I like about this rope is, and I alluded to it earlier in the video, is these handles are almost the perfect mix between a short handle rope and a long handle rope. And what that offers you is a lot more weight so that you know where the rope is, but it also allows you more flexibility and more fluidity and more maneuverability than you would normally have with a regular run of the mill short handled rope that you get from a large manufacturer. And that's because of the swivel bearing system that Buddy Lee has patented on his ropes. Performance, there's really not much else to say other than this rope performs very well it's very versatile also. I have no complaints about the performance. It's gonna get a five out of five jumps from me. Versatility. This is another portion of the review where the arrow speed does shine. And the arrow speed actually has a leg up on the rope master as far as versatility goes. Because of this rope's design, because it's the perfect cross between a short and a long handle rope, you can do more with it than you can with the rope master. With the rope master, it's more for tricks, it's more for freestyle jumping. You can work out with it, but it starts to get a little bit cumbersome after a while with the long handles. With the short handle rope, Conditioning is a little bit easier because of the weight and because it's easier to know where the rope is at all times. So that's why you see a lot of athletes using a short handle rope because the weight is there and it's easier to do longer jumps and it's easier to know where the rope is. This rope offers the perfect mix between the two. Now there are some tricks that are a little bit harder to do with this rope as opposed to the Rope Master because it's a little bit thicker in the cord here because of the five millimeter cord, but that doesn't get in the way of its versatility. It's taken me a really long time to find a rope that has the perfect cross and the perfect combination between a short and long handle rope, but I really think that this rope has found that medium between a long and a short handle rope. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five for versatility. All right, let's talk about price to value. This rope is priced for $40 on Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. I think it was maybe $3 for tax. So you're gonna pay a little bit of tax, but $39.95 is the price that I paid for this rope. Overall, 
I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's a good price for this rope. I don't think it can be priced any cheaper than that. I actually think that if this rope was priced maybe five or $10 more, I'd be willing to pay that price for it. And the reason why I say that is because these handles are just really good. I really enjoy the handles. It's a perfect mix between a short and a long handle rope for me. Now, as you may have known by watching other videos on this channel, a short handle rope is really for working out. It's for, it's not so much for doing tricks, it's for conditioning and things of that nature. Most boxers will use a short handle rope because they just want it for conditioning and footwork. A long handle rope, like the Buddy Lee Rope Master, is mainly for freestyle tricks and things like that. Complicated tricks that you normally wouldn't associate with working out, although you're gonna get a good workout in the midst of doing those crazy freestyle tricks. This rope has the best of both worlds, and I've yet to find a rope that offers the stability and the conditioning effects of a short handle rope while also giving you the benefits of a long handle rope you can do several tricks with this you can't spin it as fast as you would the the buddy lee rope master but you can do several tricks you can do kickbacks with it you can do all sorts of more complicated tricks with this rope so i think that that's why i give this rope a five out of five for price to value because you can do so much with it and it performs very well so for price to value i give this rope a five out of five jumps who is this rope for i think that anybody can use this rope except for someone who just wants to do freestyle tricks if you just want to do freestyle tricks and you're not interested in anything else but freestyle tricks, then I would recommend getting the Buddy Lee Rope Master or the Elite SRS Pro Freestyle if you're just interested in doing tricks. If you are a beginner, I would recommend this rope for you because there's just enough weight in the handles and the rope for you to know where the rope is at all times and it's not going to get frustrating and you're going to be able to build that mental muscle and that coordination for you to become a proficient jumper. If you are an athlete, a boxer, basketball player, football player, soccer player, tennis player, any kind of athlete, I think that this rope is for you. It offers really good conditioning. You can jump for a long period of time with it. You can work on your endurance and also you can do speed jumping with it. You can do the alternate footstep slash run skip with it. This rope does very well when you put it under conditions where you're turning the rope quickly. It does really well with speed training also. So any kind of athlete, this rope is definitely for you. Because of this rope's versatility, I mean, I'd recommend it basically for anybody. I was really impressed by this rope's versatility. I didn't think that I'd give such a good review for this rope, but hey, it really did impress me. It has the best of both worlds. There are some freestyle tricks that you can't do with it. I haven't tried to do a TJ triple cross with it yet, but I think I'll try that a little bit later just to see how it goes. But normally that's a trick that's gonna be reserved for a four millimeter long handle rope. Some things that you might want to consider for the Buddy Lee Aero Speed. It is a 5mm PVD cord, so if you're looking for freestyle, this might not be the best rope for you. You can turn the rope quickly, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult than it would be with a long handle 4mm cord. Another consideration is the price. Some people don't want to pay $40 for a jump rope. I think that this jump rope is worth a little bit more than $40, but if you're just starting to jump rope and you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, you're not sure if it's something that you want to program into your exercise routine, then maybe you don't want to purchase this rope and spend $40 at the outset. Maybe you want to stick with a cheaper jump rope, something like five or $10, just to see if you like the idea of jumping rope and then invest a little bit more money in this. So that's another consideration is it is a little bit more on the expensive side, not as expensive as a cross rope or any of the ropes from Rogue, but it is a little expensive, $40. Not everybody's gonna wanna pay $40 for a jump rope. Another consideration is that this rope can be a little bit difficult to put together. I think that I got a little bit lucky when I did the unboxing and I was able to put it together right away. That hasn't always been the case for Buddy Lee ropes. It's one of the weaknesses, even though they do make good products, it's one of the weaknesses of the ropes is sometimes screwing this 
the rope into this mechanism right here can be a little bit difficult. So if you don't like a lot of obstacles getting in your way and you just want to get your equipment and start working out, that is another thing that you need to consider. You're going to have to spend probably five or 10 minutes putting this thing together beforehand. But if you, if that's okay with you, if you don't mind doing that, then don't worry about considering that. Just know that you're going to have to spend about five or 10 minutes putting this rope together before it's ready to start jumping. And you're also going to have to cut it. You're going to have to size it to yourself and everything like that. So that comes with it. And I think it's definitely worth having to do those things to get the experience that this rope offers. Hey everybody, thanks a lot for tuning in to another review. If this video brought you value, please hit the red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Hit the thumbs up button. It'll let YouTube know that you're getting value from the videos that I'm putting out on this channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. My handle is at Jump Rope Veteran. And also you can go to www.jumpropevet.com get on the mailing list. I'll send you a free 30 day jump rope challenge, completely free of charge, no strings attached or anything like that. If you've used the Buddy Lee Aero Speed rope before, I'd love to hear about your experiences. So leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. Maybe we can have a dialogue on it. Maybe I can do another video about the Buddy Lee Aero Speed if I missed a few points in this video that I didn't think about. So that's always a possibility. Feel free to reach out to me on social media. You can send me a direct message. I'll do my best to get back to you. So again, I really appreciate you tuning into the video. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, jump rope to freedom. Peace out, everybody. Thanks a lot for your support.